Just-in-Time Compilation, or JIT for short. We hear a lot about how JIT speeds up code execution in programming languages, but in Python, JIT compilation is basically useless. Sounds rude, right? Just continue and you'll know why. Well, it's a technique used to make programs run faster by turning code into machine code, basically zeros and ones, at the runtime. It's like compiling code on the fly during the execution, rather than compiling ahead of time. First, it finds frequently used parts of the code, like loops or functions that run often. Then, it compiles those parts into machine code, which the CPU can run much faster. Once compiled, the machine code runs directly on the hardware, avoiding the slow interpretation step. Here's where things get interesting with Python. The widely used C Python doesn't have a JIT compiler. It relies entirely on interpretation. Why? Because Python is very dynamic. You can change variable types, functions, or classes at runtime. This flexibility makes JIT difficult to implement since Python could change things after the code is compiled. Also, CPython prioritizes simplicity and stability over speed. Adding a JIT would complicate things, and in Python, the speed boost might not be worth it. If Python had a JIT, like in Python 3.13, would it speed things up? For tasks like loops or calculations, yes. But for general Python tasks, handling data types, calling functions, and managing objects, the speed boost would be minimal. If you need faster Python, try PyPy. It has a JIT and is faster than CPython for some tasks, but it's not a solution for every Python program. While CPython doesn't have a JIT, Python is working to improve speed. Since Python 3.11, a specializing adaptive interpreter has been used to optimize bytecode as the program runs. In Python 3.12, a special tool was introduced to generate this interpreter automatically, making it easier to maintain and optimize further. By Python 3.13, CPython can break instructions into smaller, micro-operations for better optimization. But this adds too much overhead, so it's turned off by default. So the solution is to just-in-time compile these optimizations to improve speed without needing a full JIT. So in the end, JIT is kind of useless in Python, especially in the context of CPython. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more Python goodness.